Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be showing you how to add background audio or music to your game, and then maybe even um, saving it between scenes so it doesn't just sort of, you know, destroy itself when you move into another scene. So, without further ado, I've got the menu, basic menu that I created a few tutorials ago, and we might want to add some background audio to this because you know it's not very interesting without it so I have just got a, an audio track that we're going to use to put on it so what you can do is when you've decided on what you want you can right click on the project panel go on import asset and import the audio that you want you have to allow unity to import it depending on how big the file is you can click on the audio and test it at this side but I don't want to test it in case it's really loud on the recording what we can do is for the most part you want to create a new empty game object just make sure that you set the position to uh, 0 0 0 it doesn't really matter it's just for the sake of this we can rename this um, we can name this background audio something like that what we can do is once we've uh, renamed that we can add a new component and we can search audio and we can add an audio source so once we've added an audio source to that object, what we can do is we can add our uh, music track to the audio clip slot. And you want to make sure that the spatial the spatial blend is all the way down at zero, so it's a 2D sound. So it won't matter where we go in any scene anywhere, it will always be the same volume. And you can keep it playing on awake, so as soon as your menu starts or your game starts, it will play. And you can leave loop on. So then when it ends, it'll just automatically just loop over again so you don't get any pauses in anything. You might want to pull the volume down a little bit, and I'll pull it down quite a bit so we don't get blasted in the eardrums. So what I'll do is I'll, tr I'll test this. And as you could, as you could hear from that, um, we got... Um, some of the audio in the background and yeah that's all well and good but when we press play it's all well and good it'll start up and it'll be fine but when we go to new game it'll just cut the audio out so it depends really what you want to do with it if you want to keep it between scenes or um, you don't that's perfectly fine you can leave it like that and when you go into a new scene that's fine but say you wanted to keep it we can go right click in the project panel create and we can go c sharp script and we'll say uh, something like don't destroy audio and then from here we'll open up that script in visual studio or whatever program that you've got to edit your code and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of the two starting functions and i will just start by writing um, void awake um two brackets after there the two curly brackets below we can write don't destroy on load and then we can write um, transform dot game object with a semicolon on the end. So what this means is that when we move into a new scene it won't destroy that game object and it will keep it as live for as long as we say that it should stay alive for. So what we can do is on our background audio game object we can add our new script and once we press play You'll notice that then when I move to a new scene and I move to it, we'll carry on the order in the same place that we left off. So you can hear the sound there. And as we've moved to the other scene, you can still hear the audio. So that's perfect. So you want to need to remember a few things. You can create an empty game object, add an audio source, make sure that it's 2D or 3D, depending on what you're trying to achieve. You can make sure that it doesn't destroy um, when you move to another scene. You just use don't destroy on load and then have it on your game object that you have. And then when you move between scenes, you can have your background audio and you can sort of make it, maybe make a fade out accordingly. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.